basically this is gonna be our last day and last night here in Gilimeno and tomorrow we're gonna rush to Nusa Tanida I don't know how we're gonna solve it because it seems very complicated and probably we're gonna arrive in the afternoon but that's all what we can do now I'm gonna just refill the waters and then we're gonna go for snorkeling <laughs> So then we're gonna depart very soon. We're gonna just pack ourselves and go. like exactly what you said 825 we gotta be there so I would say that at 8 we should depart from here I would say that even before 8 because if we're gonna get lost or anything but do you think that it makes sense to walk I don't know I have no clue it's gonna slow us down very much but like paying 200,000 for such a ridiculous maybe they could help us to arrange here <coughs> So I don't know, I don't know what we're gonna do, but that's gonna be a really big pain in the ass, I could say, since we're gonna arrive like what, 9 in Gilitravangan and our boat's gonna be like at 1, one. so oh we're gonna, less, like. we're gonna have a few hours in Travangan with the backpacks, I mean with the suitcase and the backpack, that it's won't be the best. Cool. So, and now we're gonna just go around some snorkeling masks and fins and we're gonna check the turtles There's like something else he said yeah like two days ago we rented the bicycle but it since was kind of pointless yeah. since you cannot ride normally most no, of the like time I would say like inside the, in the center part like inside the yeah in, but in inland it's it okay make sense. around like yeah there was such a dirt road and sand Actually, it was we, very difficult. we would have to bicycle through the beach, which is like, I guess it's even worse from than walking. Like if you have to take yeah. your bicycle and push it or pull it. It's pretty much destroyed here as well. Like it's such a weird island, so really? hot and so windy at the same time. Like I tried to fly the drone a few days ago and it was like almost impossible. method for fishing which used some explosives which were killing the fish that was making them easier to collect after but next to the killing the fishes they destroyed the coral and that's why so many pieces of them are here like it was written that 
the color is going back to life slowly, but still, just look at this. It, it wouldn't look like this if they wouldn't use this. They're basically everywhere. You're nice flirting with the, I'm not. With the guy from here. But you are not. <laughs> what are you talking about? away we spent like an hour in the water it was kind of fun but like right here next to the beach the water is very shallow it's very difficult to get in and after that it's like getting pretty deep like very deep I could say actually those boats doesn't seem so far but when you're in the water and you have to go like it was a bit scary <laughs> I would say yeah like maybe if you're coming with a boat and you're just like they dropping you there that might so be. now we're gonna just bring back the snorkeling stuff and we're gonna go back to the hotel we're gonna just enjoy our villa for a while right maybe we're gonna come to watch the sunset like yeah at this point there for where sure we were taking the snorkeling, uh, snorkeling equipment i guess yeah. it, it can be nice there yeah yeah Very Polish. Yeah. They might mess this up a little bit. Yeah. No Hungary. Mm. Anyway, what Why is not? this 100 meter like? It's pretty much incorrect. <laughs> pretty much. Like it's so weird that some restaurant like this one was so full. And everything else is like because completely empty. This one had a star on the map, yeah. which this woman gave us. There was like two, uh, two points, one next to the pier and... One here. One here. So I guess people are coming to the recommended places. Like I'm just super curious now if like these trees had the effect after the earthquake or it was like totally green after because... I guess it could look pretty cool before, but now it's just like a Sahara. Yeah. Oh yeah. They were saying that that like when the dirty swell is coming in Bali that like tourists are coming and and like they're gathering and collecting the garbage yeah. from the beach and they're just saying that they don't give a fuck mm -hmm. they don't care because it's not their job they have the rubbish man who's gonna come and pick them up yeah. and i guess it's the same that somebody's paid for it to collect yeah but here's such a small island and i would i guess this small paper after the candy like can be carried in a pocket. Sunbathing is over. Now we're gonna make the funny dance. Come on, Joanna. Let's make the funny dance. If not now. So? 
Come on, let's do the dance. So we are coming now to check the sunset again. The last sunset in Grimeno. I have no clue where to go, but thanks God, Joanna is not fully retarded. Oh, uh, here's such pop on me. Just kidding. She is. <laughs> I'm so funny. I'm so funny. Might be a pineapple tree. Such a beautiful sunset it was behind the mountains. Light running. Yeah. We took we took some nice pictures hopefully in the sunset. We're gonna check them later. And now we're gonna go back, pack ourselves and prepare ourselves for tomorrow's trip. Hello. I was looking for you. you uh, did? We've been here. Slash price. One fifty. One fifty for one. If you like it. If you don't like it, no problem. To nadal bardzo drogo jest to mi. Hola. To you. One fifty. That's like. Thirty złotych. No, that's thirty five. Yeah, yeah. No, dobra, but we still don't have that money with ourselves, so. So we just came back from the sunset, and guess what? There's no electricity again, and it's like very interesting because there is not too many things which we could choose to eat. That's one thing, and the other thing that we will have to pack ourselves tonight, and that won't be easy. But now we get some flashlight, emergency lights which gonna help us to do that and here is my wife being Tommy show! Tommy! <laughs> alright so now we're gonna go back to the restaurant